Jordan guy there to describe your music? Describe our music? Well, I think it's it's quite hard to pigeonhole, isn't it? I mean, bands get us to do a lot. Well, yeah. when we are forced to do that, we go for a um, future classic pop or a like uh, 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 8-bit drone disco. I don't really see this as an option. No, no, it's not. I, I see us as like a rock band that's still play some electro sounds. Do you know what I mean? Do you think I mean, like, you've seen us live, you need to see us locked in stuff. Yeah, yeah, completely, I quite agree. I mean, do you think as, as well with like new technology as well, like you're able to like create like a whole different kind of style of music as well? Technology is very I, important. I know nothing about the technology. I know. I actually cloned myself the other day and I am now in my, my clone sitting in front of you. Really? Technology, I suddenly stay up with my clone. So that's like kind of been an overnight success almost, hasn't it? Really? Well, not well, right, not overnight success, but it's like it's like kind of every, it's a song that everyone kind of wants to hear, everyone knows about, and it just seems to be doing really, really well. Just, people do know. <laughs> it's quite bizarre. It's like the last um, I don't know, quite a few shows, I suppose. The last like week of shows, like Cam and Crawl included, and this like Radio One show last night was like sixty hundred people there. And um, people sing along, it's like, it's really, like, that is quite an overwhelming thing. It's quite anthemic though. I don't, yeah, but like, I'm just suddenly singing back to you the words that you wrote in your oh, yeah, yeah, 8 yeah. months ago. It's, it's like, it's a head fun. It's yeah, like yeah. It's a proper head fun. We came off the, after the show, like the second night of the tour, we played both nights. And, um, and the show was just insane. It was like, Stephen Mack introduced us on stage, it was his night. It, you know, nobody can get in or out, it's just absolutely great. And like the whole show went great, and, and we, then we, the last one we did was solo. Yeah. And I, like nobody could hear me, could you? Because it was completely dragged out by the entire really? crowd singing. And I actually, I just didn't know how to take it. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, we, we laughed about it on stage, I came on stage and I cried for like 10 minutes. We're in Amsterdam. The beautiful serene peace of a, of a, of a Dutch, of a Dutch park. So sorry, and literally, the, the park is literally like a utopian dream of the future. People are laughing at me, it's like the 60s again. The and through the middle comes a, a carriage entirely full of beer, beer crazed in Brits, cycling the and shouting at the top of their voice. They've cycled a long way. They play the Brits as well. It's just so embarrassing. Into every corner, yes, we do. I'm the walls, running lights, we're leaving. Yeah, people really were like fighting over there, and that's the sort of more sort of dark people are coming with. And I need finishing moves as well, just to prove that you do win the hand beat them. I'd go to the stand back and I'd win. Yeah, but there'd only be one person fighting for the duck. Alright, well, maybe like, there's a really For the tofu? Yeah, the tofu. I'd still win. I'd tell you how I'd win. I'd win with the boys to do it First of all, the Royster. Yeah. Then the Doyster finished off with a villager. <laughs> with a villager. That's the finisher. Seems, that, oh, finisher. That finisher. seems that does actually seem unbeatable. I'd win. And also, I would buy a kick and uh, basically not stop until they were the dead. Yeah. Basically, I'd play dead. Nice. Well, thank you very much for the interview. It's thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's been an interview to remember. Wow. I just like to say that. And I'm, <laughs> be, I'm going to be telling my mum about it. I hope so. You.